In June 2016, a simple trip to the playground became an unforgettable day for one family. When Scotty Denton took his three children to play at a park in Warwick, Rhode Island, he never imagined seeing something that would keep them all in the car, afraid to approach the empty playground. Eager to document what was happening, Scotty began filming himself and explain the situation. All right, we're at, we're at the playground, and the kids don't want to go anymore because look at this shit. This is real. Look at this. There's no wind out there's here no right now. no one on it either. Look, there's nobody it's on it. It's just moving. There's no wind. Look at the other swings. And look at this when Scotty turns the camera toward the playground swing set, it's clear why the kids are hesitant. Despite the relatively calm air that day, one of the swings moves erratically back and forth, seemingly being influenced by some unseen force. Scotty reports that the wind isn't strong enough to move the swing so violently, and the other swings on the set, which are barely moving in the breeze, appear to back him up. Scotty's kids are too scared to get out of the car. They're convinced something paranormal is responsible for the swing's strange movement. Could something be out there on the playground? Wanna go to a different playground? There's nobody out there. I do not want to go. <laughs> go start real. Wouldn't the other swings be moving? Look, ain't nobody here, dude. It's ain't a joke. Nobody. Thanks. While YouTube skeptics were quick to dismiss. in the other direction about 15 minutes after his vicious shove. The woman attempted to speak to him, but he reportedly ignored her and ran away from the scene yet again. The jogger was a white male, estimated to be in his 30s, with brown eyes and short brown hair. There was no apparent explanation as to why he had suddenly pushed a woman into such incredible danger. After an exhaustive investigation, with photos circulating of the unidentified man, the London Metropolitan Police closed the case. They had investigated more than 50 suspects and even arrested three men, but had not found the mystery jogger. No one was ever charged with this sudden and extreme act of violence, made all the more frightening by its complete lack of explanation.